Hi, I'm at the National Farm Machinery Show with TJ Hamilton of Fent. We're standing in front of a new Momentum planner that actually won an AE50 award this year. TJ, tell me a little bit about that, please. So we brought the same uh, things that everybody's known to, to grow and love on the 40-foot and the 60-foot planner. We just brought it into a smaller condensed version. So um, the innovations that we brought with load logic, the tire inflation system, precision uh, technology that comes on the 40 foot and the 60 foot planters, we just brought it into a condensed version on that, being innovative to try to go after those the smaller farms. Instead right. of being after the bigger corporate farms, we're trying to get the same benefit and technology that we get with the bigger planters, but into a smaller scale to have these smaller farms operate and optimize their, their capabilities. Right, and we were talking earlier, that's something you said a lot of farmers were actually coming to you about. It's like, hey, we love the technology, but can you put it into a smaller package? Yeah, so out where I come from on the Delmarva Peninsula, we have a lot more farms that are, you know, five acres, 10 acres, 25 acres, and then they, they fold up and they go to another field. Right. So having a smaller planter that's a little bit more versatile, agile, um, they're able to close up, get around a little easier. It's just a smaller version for them, but they still get all those benefits of what, what momentum brings, um, the Gold Star warranty, everything just brought into a smaller version for right. them. So what are some of the technology features that uh, people might uh, get in the momentum if they're not too familiar with them? So the load logic system that's on here, so it's an automated weight distribution system. So the wheels on the wings and then the front on the tandem have load spindles in them. So that's going to take a weight reading multiple times a second. That is then going to tell the computer on the planner whether to extend or retract the hydraulic cylinder on the wings. That way you're evenly distributing your weight footprint across the entire width of the planner. I kind of tell people, you know, think of it like if you're going snowshoeing. If you take your shoe off and you just step down into the snow, you just sink. If you put a snowshoe on where you expand that footprint, you can float on top. That was the whole design of what this is, is to be on top. We're going to reduce the compaction on the ground. Pair that with the tire inflation system, we're expanding that, that footprint of the tires out to just evenly distribute that weight and increase that footprint on there so our compaction is down. So we've, we've done all that with the 40 foot and the 60 foot, now we've brought it to the table with a 30 foot and getting down into the a 12 row or like this one is a 23 row, so it's a split row system on this planter too. That kind of technology must help a lot with depth control too, I imagine, when you're actually planting. Yeah, so with the VCT that's on here, so just like the bigger planters, it's got 52 inches of travel on there. So in those smaller fields, we're still able to cra travel more terrain. And by doing that, we keep those row units in, a, in the position that they need to be to get the seed in the ground, to have that good soil to seed contact, to grow the plant the best that we can. Thanks, TJ. Is there anything you wanted to say about the momentum that I didn't ask you about today? Um, so just on this one here, where we've gone down to a little bit smaller scale, so 800 gallon tank, uh, 100 bushel CFS system that's on here. We also offer a dry fertilizer option on there. So as the conversations happen with the farmers about, you know, can I get my liquid, you know, with where we're at in, in the economy today, you know, can I get access to those? If they don't have that and they have access to dry, or maybe a dry is a more beneficial option, we have another option for the farmer by having that dry on there. So we've got we've got different options for them to, to get the seed, the fertilizer into the ground. Well, thanks for your time today. And Absolutely. thanks for uh, talking to me about it. And you congratulations bet. on the award. Thank you. Thank you so much.